to survive. Salvation is an individual thing. But the Bible says my inheritance is among them that are sanctified. You need me. I need you. I need you to survive. Amen? Amen. At this time, we're getting ready for the most important part of the service, and that is the word of God. Man, man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that cometh from the mouth of God. Everything you need, you'll find it in the word of God. This morning, we have a preacher who is capable and able to preach the word of God, to break it down and make it plain. Amen? So we're going to ask everybody to stand as our own evangelist, Regina Poole, comes and brings forth the word of God. Give the Lord a hand praise as she comes. Come on and give the Lord a hand praise. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I feel a sweet spirit that is in this house this morning. Oh, glory to your name, Jesus. Can somebody just give him a wave offering? Oh, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Shama. Hallelujah, Jesus. Healing is in this place. Deliverance is in this place. Glory, God. Hallelujah. His presence is filling the room. His presence is filling the room. Oh, God, we need you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, glory, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times, and your praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel a strong wind in God's house this morning. There's a strong presence, hallelujah, that is taking over this house this morning. Lift your hands, hallelujah, and give God the glory. Come on. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, glory, God. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is here. 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 Whatever you need, you can just tell God about it. His presence is here. God is listening to your prayers. God is opening doors for you. The presence of the Lord is here. Hey, glory, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody just tell God, sweep down my aisle. I sweep down my eye. Manifest yourself on my seat, God. Yes, Bosaya. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, Shaya. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, Shaya. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Whatever's going on, God can make it right, right now. Whatever it is, glory, God. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. There's a fresh wind in here. I don't know if you can feel it, but there's a fresh wind. Yeah, come on, Shia. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The angels cried, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Oh, glory. Oh, glory, God. Yeah, come on, Shia. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah,
you, Jesus. Glory, God. We glorify you, Lord. We bless your name, Jesus. We lift you up, Jesus. Holy God. You're holy, you're holy, you're holy, you're holy, you're holy, you're holy. Oh, glory, God. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. He come Oh God, yes, you must see and yes, you must Oh Jesus, he can hear say, Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, God. We lift you up. We bless your name, Jesus. No other God we serve. No other God we serve. Holy, holy, you're holy, God. You're holy, God. You're holy. Oh, Jesus. Freedom's in the house. Freedom is in the house. Freedom is in your house, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whatever's wrong, God, make it right. Whatever's wrong, God, make it right. Holy God. Holy God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He shall not say. Glory, God. Hallelujah. I would be reading from Mark, the fourth chapter. Mark, the fourth chapter, starting at verse 35, reading down to verse 41, the fourth chapter, Mark, hallelujah for those that can stand, ask that you stand this morning, Mark, the fourth chapter, verse 35 through 41. And the same day when the even was come, he saith unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him there, even as he was in the ship. And there was also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm. And the winds beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and saith unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to his divine word. Amen. And for a short topic this morning, I just want you to look at somebody and tell them, I survived it. I 
survived it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I came through it. I survived it. There are some things, some tragedies, some storms that some people have went through, and even you yourselves may have gone through, that oftentimes we will hear about it um, from somebody or we'll just read about it in the newspaper, but you will often not fully understand the pain and the hurt or the traumas unless you go through them yourself. You can read about it, whatever people go through, you can empathize with them, but unless you have been through what they have been through, you simply may not understand how they survived it. Have you ever had things going just right in your life? Things are going grand. You shouting, you praising God, because things just they're going, they're going good, they're going nice. And, and, and you're glad about it because you just made it out of a storm. Everything seemed to be coming all together. You ever been at that place? You happy, Got, things are going well, God is good to you, you testifying about it, the goodness of God, you know, the, the sun is shining outside, the, the weather is warm, and then the sky is clear. It's just, it's just a good time. It's just a good day. And then suddenly, the wind starts blowing in your life. The trees start going back and forth. And you look up, and the sky is changing a little. Have you ever been in a place in your life where things really started happening good for you and then suddenly life shifts? Life takes you by surprise and you find yourself confused and scratching your head. Now the thing about in this text it wasn't the fact that they had never been through a storm. We have all been through some kind of storm, whether it's a loved one that dies or your gas is about to get cut off or your car won't start and you've already been late three times to work. <laughs> and now the doctor, you know, the doctor gives you bad news. We have all been through some type of of storms, and many of us understand that this just happens to be a part of life. But it wasn't the storm that the disciples were upset about in the text because they knew that storms will come and storms was, would go. It was the fact that the wind was blowing and the waves were high and Water was getting into the ship, and the ship was rocking back and forth as the water was coming in, and they was beginning to lose their balance, and they're trying to hold on while the ship is rocking back and forth. And when they looked around and saw that Jesus wasn't standing with them, you know, the one who invited them on the ship. You invited me to come on the ship. You know, it sounds good when Jesus said, let us go over to the other side. Who would have expected something to go wrong when you have Jesus going with you, right? You don't expect nothing to happen. You got the king of kings, Lord. He's with you, so you don't expect anything to go wrong. But the Bible says suddenly, I can imagine them looking at each other trying to figure out, is this real? <laughs> Are we getting ready to go through a storm? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, there has been a shift. The one person that, you know, like when you see somebody that you really 
count on and you look up to and, you know, the, 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 how the kids act that when somebody tries to bully them or whatever, they get behind their daddy. So that's, the disciples was kind of feeling like that. You know, I got the Lord himself standing here with me. So I can imagine in my mind that the, as the disciples were rocking back and forth and they were losing themselves, their balance in the ship, that there was a little fear that was setting in. And then they remembered that Jesus is on the ship. The Bible says that Jesus was asleep. And not only was he asleep, but the Bible says that he was comfortably sleeping because he was laying on a pillow. He ain't just get on the ship, you know, he just get on there and just start laying down anywhere. He went in, comfortably pulled him a pillow and laid down and went to sleep. I want to encourage you that you can still be a survivor in the midst of the storm. I know that there were a lot of storms that could have taken us under. A lot of things that look bleak, but Jesus knows what struggles you have to go through in order to get to your final destination in life. And the Bible says that he was sleeping on the ship. But just because he was asleep, he didn't lose control. And because he was asleep, he didn't lose no power. I came to tell somebody this morning, in the midst of your storm, don't lose hope. Don't throw in the towel. You will survive this. How many survivors do we already have in the house this morning? How many know that Jesus already have brought you through one storm and another storm and another one after that? Has he kept you? Has he strengthened you? Has he kept you and covered you and protected you? Tell somebody, I survived it. I survived it when the enemy was whispering in my ear and telling me that I wasn't going to make it. But God with his good self, as Deacon Henry B. says, he kept me through another storm. The songwriter said, over, over, my soul looks back in wonder. How did I get up? Woo! How did I make it over when I look back? over all the trials and the tests and the circumstances that I have endured. When I look back, I can see that God had brought me through. I survived it. I made it. When I think about the times when stuff was over my head, but God kept me. I know sometimes we kind of throw it off in the background because there's some good days that come along with some of the bad days. But sometimes when things are going good, we forget about that storm that we just came through. Hallelujah. But that's because God has been good to us. Hallelujah. After all the things that you have been through, you survived it. Can my survivors just wave their hands in the air and just wave them like you just don't care? Tell somebody, I survived it, and you can too. Woo! I survived it, and you can too. As the songwriter says, because through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. T'was grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me on. I survived the things that was trying to take me out. I survived it. Hallelujah. When you look and understand that all of your good days outweighed all of your bad days, I got to give them glory. I got to give them praise. I have to lift them up. I survived it. I survived this thing, hallelujah, called life. I came through this storm that was attempting to take me out. Glory to God. I think about one of the big storms that I went through is when my grandbaby was two years old and she was diagnosed, diagnosed with neuroblastoma. 
which is a kind of cancer, hallelujah, that most children don't make it through. Let me be honest. When I went to the doctor, took her to the doctor, they said she had a 20% chance of living. 20% chance. Well, my faith, something about my faith rose up that day. And I said, well, if she got only a 20% chance of living, that means God can work with 80. Woo! Hallelujah, he can work with the 80. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it was a rough time that we were going through at that particular time because she had to have several surgeries, hallelujah, to remove the myrrhol and, and all of this kind of stuff that was going on with her. So we had to go through those difficulties with her at two years old. But the good thing about it is I survived it. Hallelujah. And today, I still can't believe when she tells me that she's like 27, 28 years old. Hallelujah. Look at the goodness of God in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Not only does did she survive it, but she got her own children. God will do some amazing things. Hallelujah. If we step out, hallelujah, and we trust him for what it is that we are going through. Hallelujah. And I'm just going to end just a little bit. You know, I like to praise him because he has truly been good to me. As I was in my study, there was a, something that had came up in my mind that there is a certain sound that the Lord loves to hear, as the songwriter says. Hallelujah. A sound that moves into the atmosphere. There is a frequency of a sound that moves God, the Webster Dictionary defines this frequency as the rate at which sound pierces the air. There is often a particular sound that will pierce through the air to get God's attention. And this sound is not only to get his attention, the sound is meant to create an atmosphere in which the glory of God can come and dwell. Hallelujah. I'll give you a reminder of the Bible when it says that Paul and Silas, hallelujah, were locked up in prison. And while they were in prison, they began to sing and to praise God through the midst of the storm that they were going through. So not only was they going through the storm, they was inside of a building that had a lock and key that prevented them from getting out of their storm. But the Bible says that Paul and Silas began to pray. And when they began to pray, that it says that the prison doors began to shake. Hallelujah. As they began to praise the name of the Lord. And then it says that everything was loosed. Hallelujah. So the doors start to swing open. Hallelujah. When they began to praise God. And so I just want to encourage you this morning. Hallelujah. That even though you may be going through a difficulty, a storm, a trauma, a circumstance, whatever it is, if you can plug into that frequency, hallelujah, and give God that particular sound of praise that he wants. Hallelujah. As you said, Jesus loves to hear the sound of praise. Hallelujah. Then the Bible says, if you remember Joshua, it says that they walked around seven times around the building. And the Bible says that on that seventh time, they began to shout. Hallelujah. And when they began to shout, it says that the walls came down. Woo! There is a particular sound that the Lord loves. And instead of us moaning and groaning and crying, hallelujah, and feeling sad and getting depressed, if we can muster up a frequency of a shout, Ah, come on, shout. Hallelujah, that will open up the prison doors in your life. Hallelujah, that can send healing to your body. That can heal, hallelujah, sugar diabetes. There's a particular sound, Deke. Hallelujah. He loves to hear the sound of praise. Hallelujah, if you don't mind, we, I'm going to be done real quick here and we're getting ready to close. If you don't mind standing on your feet, and I don't know what the particular sound is for you to God, but I know when you meet that particular sound, hallelujah, the Bible says when the praises go up, then the blessings 
come down. Your healing can come down. Your deliverance can come down. Hallelujah. There is a sound. Hallelujah. It can meet God's expectations. When we can close out everything around us. When we can block out the noise. When we can forget about who's next to us. Hallelujah. And give God that particular sound of praise that only you can give him. You know what you're going through. You know where you've been. You know where God brought you out of. Hallelujah. You know who you need to pray for. There are some people in your family. There are some people in your house. Hallelujah. That need some kind of deliverance that can't reach God like you can reach him. But that sound of praise that you can give him this morning can tear through the airwaves. Hallelujah. And bring a sound to God. Hallelujah. That will bless them for you. Glory to God. There is a sound. Hallelujah. That the Lord loves to hear. Glory to God. If you'll just begin to open your mouth and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Give him a sound. Hallelujah. Of your praise. The prison doors can open. That come on, Shonda. Healing can take place. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The sound of praise. The sound of praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, God. Glory, God. The sound of praise. Come on, Shanda. Hallelujah. Glory, God. Glory, God. Hallelujah. Somebody scream. Hey, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Heal God. Deliver God. Set free God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, Shanda. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Woo. Come on, Shanda. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. The sound, the sound of praise. Woo, Jesus. Bless your name, God. He loves to hear the sound of praise. Glory, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Nisi, just jump three times, Nisi. Hallelujah. The sound. Yeah. Hey. Yes, God. Yeah, come on, Shanda. Yeah, come on, Shanda. Hallelujah. Somebody help her praise the Lord. Hey. hey come on, Shanda. Hallelujah. The sound, the sound, the sound, the sound. Yeah, come on, Shia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The sound, the sound, the sound, the sound. The sound of praise. There's nothing like the sound of praise. 